What's going on YouTube? GSN right here today with very great news. An iOS 15 jailbreak has been fully achieved by developer Sheena520. Yes, the same developer we talked about a couple of days ago that said they would share code they have with developers in our community if those developers believe Sheena520 has anything they need. This video is brought to you by Startsoft KeyPass, a software that allows to perform iCloud activation unlock on iPhone 10 and lower. And you can of course bypass the setup screen and use a device for which you don't have the proper SIM card or it says enable to activate because of component swaps and stuff like that. It works for a variety of issues and it's available for both Windows and Mac OS. Definitely check it out in the link below, there's also a coupon in the description. So you probably remember this person, Shina520, they posted a couple of days ago this over here that I made a video about, in which they managed to basically bypass code sign, which was a first on iOS 15. Well just a couple of hours ago they posted a video, iOS 15 jailbreak demo, and they say here this is just a demo process it's still difficult to implement but they also said I just implemented this yesterday with IDS scheme 1 there are other schemes that have not been tested yet I need time and in here in this video they basically show a fully working jailbreak which appears to run 15.1 over here because the current kernel exploit that we have works on 15.1 so that's probably why they also confirmed to me via DMs that this method they used here for code sign bypass also works on iOS 15.3.1. So that wouldn't be a problem. We don't currently have a kernel exploit for 15.3.1 or for 15.2 and stuff like that, but once we get one, the same method for code sign bypass they used over here should work. They actually confirmed to me that. But they currently build one with 15.1 since this is the exploit we have. Now Linus Hensey already has in 15.5, I think, a couple of kernel vulnerabilities patched, so if they do release those, we might be able to create a jailbreak for even further than 15.2. Now in the video over here, as you can see, they show basically their application to launch the exploit, they do get the exploit running, and then of course they have their jailbreak working, and as you can see, they have Amphid Bypass. So that's exactly what the Torin jailbreak team was trying to do for the last couple of months, a proper Amphid Bypass bypass on iOS 15, which is indeed a pretty hard thing to do, and if you go ahead here on the iOS signing status on my website and select any random device, this jailbreak would basically work with 15.1.1, which sits over here, all the way down to like 15.0, still a pretty good range, and the technique for Amphid bypass and code sign bypass, which was used over here, would work even further, all the way up to like 15.3.1 or even 15.4, according to Sheena520, but we don't have a kernel exploit for now for those versions. Anyways, they're showing here their tool in action, and after it runs, you can see all the processes running on the device. Once you have access to that, it's pretty good. It means you've made a lot of progress. And as you can see, they show their Amphid hook, and again, more of the processes. Now, this is basically a pretty bare-bone jailbreak implementation. It's not a full jailbreak with Cydia or anything, but it's a very very good start. They managed to have the Amphid bypass, they managed to have basically code sign bypass, sandbox escape and even arbitrary process execution over here because they are running their own application to get all the processes and stuff so that's actually quite great. And remember it's the same developer that said quote if you think I have the code you need any jailbreak developer please DM me alas Google translation is poor. So if developers from Torin or Uncover or any other jailbreak developer would need something that this person has like code or information information or technique or anything, they would be willing to provide it, which is definitely great. So yeah, that's definitely good news, finally we see a jailbreak demo from a person who would release it, but this is still in development, they do say in here they need more time. Yes, iOS 15 is tremendously hard to jailbreak, we all understand that at this point I think, so there's no point to repeat it, but once they finish this they might release it, or they might pass it on to other teams like Torin or Uncover to continue it further. Anyways, no matter how they're going to release it, if they're going to release it, I will make it available here on the jailbreak downloads page. Anyways, those are the biggest news we had in the jailbreak community for iOS 15 so far, so that's actually great. We've had a lot of exploits being released, but not a lot done with them. This is the first time we see something being done with an exploit that was released. So definitely good progress, even though slower. So thank you for watching, I am GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.